former First Lady Michelle Obama went on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert Friday night to promote her new book Becoming which is on the bestseller list but she used it as an opportunity to bash the morals of President Donald Trump. She also complained about having to be perfect when they were in the White House and spoke about the relief she felt upon leaving the White House when they no longer had to be perfect. From Daily Caller We knew that we were the moral compass so we had to speak carefully and clearly and intelligently and we couldn't just say things off the cuff, Obama stated. Colbert followed up by asking, as people who took that moral position seriously, and it is a serious position, how does it feel to see the next occupant, at least of the Oval Office I can't speak to anyone else's in his family who seems indifferent to that responsibility. The question that we have to ask ourselves is how does the country feel about it? Because I don't think it matters how I felt about it. I felt torn about it from the day I watched it happen. But now the country has to ask itself, what do we want? What is the bar that we're setting for ourselves? The former First Lady responded, It's up to the voters now to figure out what kind of moral leadership do we demand in the White House, regardless of party, regardless of race, regardless of gender, regardless of wherever you are. What do we want our president to look like? How do we want them to act? And if we vote for one set of behavior, then that's obviously what we want until we vote differently, Michelle Obama concluded. Wait. What? Let me just list a few of the lies and or moral failings of the Obama administration. Which president was it who lied to Americans that they could keep the plan and keep their doctor, destroying health insurance, plans and the connections people had with their doctors in one fell swoop? Was the Obama architect kidding when he basically confessed that Americans were deliberately kept in the dark because otherwise they never would have gone for it? Was that just saying things off the cuff? Which president said he couldn't constitutionally do DACA for illegal aliens brought here as children but then did it anyway? What president didn't tell the truth to the American people about Benazi claiming Americans were killed because of an internet video? We could also talk about how Obama destroyed destroyed the concept of equal application of the law when his administration failed to pursue any action against members of his administration for their bad acts including Eric Holder for contempt of Congress in the Fast and Furious case, Lois Lerner in the IRS matter targeting conservatives, John Brennan when he spied on Congress and lied to them about it and of course, Hillary Clinton when they failed to prosecute her for sending and receiving classified information and deleting emails that were reportedly under subpoena. That's just a start, there are plenty more. And the lies and or moral failings are about consequential acts harming Americans while Obama was in the presidency. Hardly perfect. And if that's the moral compass people are supposed to follow, we're all in trouble.